everyone, we are Kukri from Mad Nida. Today, we proud to present our project for subject social network analysis by using Jeffy which show how to the distribution of no and age. Our business that we choose is AIS for the study case. The our agenda we separate seven topics. First, we will start at the company background. We know AAS for a long time. AAS stay with Thai people more than 13 years. AAS have four core business is communication service, fixed broadband service, enterprise business service, and digital service. In this project, we are focused on mobile communication service. First, we have to know the business pain point of this situation. In Thailand, the big three of mobile communication is AAS, True, and DTAC. AAS is the biggest market share, around 44%. But in the end of 2021, True and DTAC decision to merge together and made to change the market share to them. AAS became the second in the market share. So the main business objective have to increase market share. How to implement that? We focus on three things. Increase awareness, engagement, and conversion. It will know that the famous influencer can reach to many people based on social network analysis. We will increase their treatment activity. First, select influencer to increase brand awareness. Second, select micro-influencer to increase brand awareness and market share. Last project is select get people to increase engagement rate and the market share. Data set assumptions. First, we conduct a target campaign to collect social data to decide social network graph. This data includes demographics, information of using network, and Facebook account. Second, customer nodes in the graph are allocated based on market share. Third, eight in the graph show engagement scores between customer and between customer and Facebook fan page. Engagement is measured through likes, comments, and shares. In the last, the marketing campaign is divided in the three waves. It will help us evaluate campaign performance and make data different decisions. Benefit of social network metric. Utilizing social network metric like price, degree, visionary centrality, and coordinate centrality helps filter out noise, identify influencers, and optimize strategies for effective marketing and Network development. After we understand social network analysis metric, we will go through how to implement the social network analysis graph. For the first slide, as you can see, node color represents customer of each telecompany brand. Green is AAS, orange is true, and blue is DTAC. And for the purple nodes, represent Facebook page that customer has been engaged in social network platform. For the project one, part one, we have to select influencer by considering about number of degrees, betweenness and closeness centrality. This graph has shown that age number four, which had the highest number of degrees, betweenness and closeness centrality score among the other nodes, which means this phase has a lot of connection Furthermore, it can communicate to another communities and provide the fastest information flow. Therefore, we will focus on inviting page I Loam Alone to be our brand ambassador so we can propagate our campaign to its type of customers. Example, we can use this page to set up two campaign strategies, include retention campaign for AAS customers and bring new early life customers with we know information from event registration before. After that, we can analyze attributes contribution, such as age range, to decide the personalized communication. Examples on page four, we can see the most contribution age length is 15 to 25, so we can set up communication like Gen Z style to reach these competitor customers. The first project will focus on a macro influencer campaigns, which is we chose iRoam Alone page. The first campaign is that iRoam Alone will reveal five star hotels in Myanmar and travel around to show that AIS has a strong signal even in other countries and also provide promotion for roaming packages to customers. The second campaign is that travel with iRoam Alone. We will run lucky draw for AIS user to travel with iRoam alone. This campaign will help to convert non-customer to be AIS customers. 
The third campaign is that all like campaigns that we will give away traveling packages for AIS customers. The rules are that customer have to like, share and comment one place that they want to go with one reason and hashtag AISX alone. And we will random the winner for a traveling package price. This campaign will help to increase engagement rate for both page. For the second strategies, we will use two micro influencers as our page two and three for the lower budgets to bring customers from to and detect to the AAS. Benefits for collab influencers. First, more exciting content and even event. Second, explain more realities of industry. Third, build more stickiness of customers. On page three, it has no dominant age range appears on this graph. So this can implement as wide age range of communication style. Note, we can use another node attributes to build more personalized communication like genders or most activity. The second project will focus on increasing customer base and engagement with three main campaigns. The first campaign is that Sebring and Kotku will create a video together. The content is that they will go camping together and playing some mobile game while camping to show that AIS has strong signal even in camping place. The second campaign is that both pages will have game competition. They will build their own team by picking members from their lucky fans and let people vote for the winner to win prizes. The third campaign will be online campaign that they will post and promote internet package with special price for the people who like to pay games and give away code for package discount and item in the game to attract more customers. For the third strategies, we will choose nano influencer to get more conversion. So we are seeking know that just as normal customers with high betweenness and closeness centralities to invite them to our affiliate or game campaign. For this example graph, we will choose customer 23 as a uh, affiliators. This strategy has opportunity to turn competitor customers to AAS and also bring more retention to AAS customers. And for the additional implementation, we can use high closeness centralities node to handling negative viral feedback to passing the right content to another node with the shorted path or the fastest way. The third project will focus on finding gatekeepers. We will use gatekeepers to spread and link people by contacting top fans or top comments of each page to be our influencers with affordable price. So these gatekeepers will help us to spread our page and campaigns. For this session, I will talk about mission mimicry. The most important part to ensure that our SNA projects are performed well, we have to track and monitor the performance of those projects. As you can see on the screen, there are six metrics that our team used to evaluate the project performance. First mm -hmm. is engagement. For the detail of how to calculate each metric, you can see it's in this appendix. In summary, after we measure the performance of this s and project through this SIG metric, we found that our metric has increased when compared to the period between before and after the project was launched. This means that our s and project has been performing well and also gained market share from our competitors. In addition, we review chain of relationships after the first wave was launched and monitor that how it impacts the graph. As you can see on the right hand side, we start with 100 nodes of customer and 10 nodes of purchase with our contribution is 44%. After first wave was launched, the node of second wave has changed with 200 nodes of customer and 2 nodes of purchase. And our contribution rate has increased to be 52%. Therefore, influencer and gatekeeper who we identify in the first wave may be changed in second wave due to increasing of nodes and changing of their relationship or ages. Finally, if we are tracking our social media platform and can identify the light influencer who can effectively reach our target customer or target audience, we will gain benefit from their relationship.
from the perspective of sales and market that has already been presented it can be analyzed from the perspective of operational expenditures i like to share with you the conclusions from analysis for detection and a well implemented logistic hub have a direct impact on operational costs by detecting and preventing fraud businesses avoid financial losses optimized logistic hubs streamline processes reducing costs Together, they contribute to improve operational efficiency and reduce expense. We'll delve into the implementation of graphs using Gephi for fraud detection. To implement graph with Gephi for fraud detection, fraud detection is a critical aspect of protecting organizations from financial losses. Gephi, a powerful graph visualization tool, offers a game changing approach to analyzing complex fraud networks. A benefit of Gephi for fraud detections. Gephi allows us to visually represent integrated networks and relationships, enabling a comprehensive understanding of fraudulent activities. By leveraging Gephi, we can identify patterns, clusters, and anomalies within our fraud detection data, empowering us to stay one step ahead of fraudsters. Gephi uncovers hidden connections between individuals organizations and transactions, providing us with valuable insights to strengthen our fraud prevention strategies. To sum up Gephi's interactive graph, revolutionize fraud detection by enhancing visual analysis and enabling proactive fraud prevention measures. How Gephi enhance fraud detection? Gephi offers a range of features that significantly enhance fraud detection of false revolutioning the way we analyze and prevent fraudulent activities. Gephi provides interactive graphs for data exploration, allowing us to visually examine and analyze complex fraud networks. By leveraging Gephi, we can delve to the relationships between individuals, organizations, and transactions, gaining a deeper understanding of fraudulent activities through is powerful visualization capabilities. Gephi strengthens fraud prevention strategies, helping the organizations proactively identify and mitigate leaks. By using Gephi for fraud detection, organizations can protect themselves from financial losses, safeguarding their assets and reputation. In conclusion, Gephi's interactive graph and visualization capabilities offer valuable insights for fraud detection, helping organizations stay one step ahead of foster and protect their interests.